Hey everybody, Dana Stoburn here with the Magic of Somatic Money and some pretty big news. I am taking this another step and I am beginning to do free Somatic Money readings for people here on video. And um, if you see the banners going across the screen, I'm calling it my Somatic Money Care Kit and you gotta go in and apply to enter to win the Somatic Money Care Kit. And if you do win, you get my first edition Oracle deck that's worth $79. And then you also get the free read for me here that's worth anywhere from like $79 to $125, $150. So it's a pretty good package. And I am including other digital support material with it because I, these reads that I'm doing, I really want people to do the work and make improvement and succeed in their money life. So if you're interested in this, go through on the link tree. If you want to see an example, the video that I posted before this one is the first live read that I did for a woman, right? It is time to take this to a whole other level, get more personal, get more precise, really show you guys how this works. So, but we are here for the collective community reading and let's go ahead and do, I believe this is going to be money message number 28, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just Take a deep breath in, really get in my center here. Oh, wow. Um, not even pulling cards yet. Okay. Spirit World is saying, Spirit World is basically, whew, basic, Spirit World is basically saying, they're like, Dana, tell people, everybody's just kind of like out of their heads with money right now. Like, like they're kind of, I don't know, it just looks like a lot of financial chaos going on out there. Um, and so, Spirit World is basically saying, if you're running across this, they they just, they want you to get calmed down. Like, so if you're feeling out of pocket or out of sorts with money, the, the first step here is to get calmed down. And um, I can hear a message coming in, they're saying, it's not as bad as you're making yourself think that it is. And the next message coming in is they need you to get calmed down so that they can get through and talk with you and get you your next best financial potentials. All right. So if you're watching this and you're more logical with your money and you're kind of out of your mind with money chaos going on, you're going to need to begin to flex some skills here as far as EQ money, your emotional intelligence with money, also doing your body-based money relationship work, which is your presence practice, blueprint number two, my very basics. I know it sounds like it's nothing, but it is everything. I've literally seen the presence practice, presence practice turn people's life around. But then, then there's a third, third thing in here of like, you're really going to need to get in that calm center and listen to your intuition about money. It's like get your fear triggers calmed down so that you can get to your center and really listen to the greater picture that is going on for you with money. There's a feeling from spirit world of do not get sucked into the matrix. That is the old world money. That is 3D money that says money is limited and it's inside of a box. And you know, you're at you know, you're you're at the whims of your fight, flight, freeze, fawn triggers. And they want you to know this is not true. And so they want you to do in your presence practice, getting grounded, breathe center into your body. And they want you to tune into the greater realm and your greater intuition because God, and this is the eclipse coming up. I had it happen in the last reading. It's happening this one. I think spirit world is getting all of you prepared um, for financial changes coming. Um, and so what they want you to know is that we're basically going to be doing money in a very, in a very, very different way. And yes, you're still going to need to do the structure of money, the logic and the structure of money, but you're also going to need to be doing your EQ of money grounded in your body and being tuned in with your intuition because, um, okay, this is, whew, this is the next part of the message. They're saying, a lot of you were going to have you financially lily pad leaping. 
And if you're going to be doing financial lily pad leaping, you cannot get sucked into your fear triggers, your biological fear triggers, because your fight, your fight trigger, your flight trigger, your freeze trigger, and your fawn trigger, it shuts down the parts of your brain that create possibility. It shuts down your vagus nerve and puts you into a, a state of survivalism. You know, there's if, if you go in and look at all the biological um, work that I've taken a look at this with money, you will see that the triggers just kind of go ping, 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 ping through your body and just shut everything down. So as we move through change on the planet, especially economically and financially, it is going to be very important that you are doing your presence practice so you can get your biological triggers reined in with money so that you can be listening and have a wherewithal to listen to the greater realms or the outer world and your deeper intuition so that you can move forward methodically. Then they're saying, um, Oh, they are chatty Cathy's today. Then they're saying, not everything poof, being presented to you financially is going to be true. And so if you get presented with something financially, sure, you might have a reaction to that. Let the reaction flow through, and then you need to slow down, ground, breathe, center, and begin to tune into the greater nature of things basically because that's where your information is your information for options is going to be happening so that you can take steps forward and um god this is eclipse stuff and then they're saying for a lot of you it's going to seem like the lights are going to go out on everything <laughs> that's eclipse stuff um and what Spirit World wants you to know, they're saying is, do not panic. Do not buy into the panic. Sure, you might go through some waves of fear and waves of trigger, but they are saying, keep your heads about you. Keep, keep your head above water. Keep like, keep your wits about you. Like, do not lose your shit. <laughs> um, then they're saying. There's going to be about two weeks of flux, two weeks of this that we're not going to know which end is up. Whew. It's going to be really easy to lose yourself in the waves. So I'd even go so far as to say is like, we're all going to get sucked into social media and paying attention to what's going on and trying to figure out what's going on. And I think there's going to be some points where it's going to be important to walk away from social media and digital and all of the stuff going on. It's going to be very important to be in nature and get grounded so that you can tune into your inner knowing, inner wisdom, and also tune in with spirit world. Um, next thing that they're saying is they're saying we have so much more help than we know. They are saying there are going to be multitudes of star nation beings, light beings, angelic realm, higher beings that they're not only here now, but they are coming in and will continue to come in. And they want us all to know that with what's going to be happening, we are not alone. We are not alone. We are spirit beings in physical form. And it is our job to make sure that at some point we get calmed down and tuned into our inner spirit being in our bodies so that we can stay tuned into the greater realms, which is higher intelligent information. <clears throat> They're saying a lot of us are going to get help um, if we make ourselves available. The help is going to be right there. We are primed for tune. And this is especially for people who are working in higher vibrational frequencies, the 5D zone. But if you haven't done that shift or been aware of that, this is still a very good time to be doing that. And there's plenty of videos out there. You need to be looking at timeline jumps and 5D and higher vibration and 
meditations that get you to those to those higher levels I and I think that's probably the biggest message that I can give to you is no matter what we are catapulted through through this eclipse season and no matter how bumpy the ride might be just know you are not alone